This is Sambalungu, you are watching uh, Rooftop with Kenwa. We chika shana nali kute mande fulu kaiwe Yes baby, we chika shana nali kute mande fulu kaiwe Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Tandale kito en tandale luansha yonsa matauni Yes baby, tandale kito en tandale luansha yonsa matauni Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Tuenda wabili, tuenda batatu no maiche wandi Yes baby, tuenda wabili, tuenda batatu no maiche wandi Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Yes baby, mafiga enu mwakwata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Konko mufolo wala tusanga pali apachamboli Yes baby Konko mufolo wala tusanga tule kulolela Yes baby Mafiga enu mwakata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Yes baby Mafiga enu mwakata wana mulenga Ya yechi ye 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 Ingole fayo kuti tuko pane na iwe sheri wandi Ule shini nkisha, ule lava imi sango yobe, iyo wabe la muri ya kale Ngole fayo kutituko pande na iwe sheri wandi Ule shini nkisha, ule lava imi sango yobe, iyo wabe la muri ya kale Iyo yo 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 all right, so Vindok City, Namibia is where I'm at today. Welcome to today's edition of, of the rooftop, and I'm your host, and I'm yours truly, Ken One. And guess what? Yes, I am in Namibia, Vindok City, and in view right now is the beautiful city of Vindok. Now, guess what? I'm not alone on today's show because, yeah, I'm catching up with someone that is my co host. Very weird. I don't think he has done TV before. He's good at the mic, but let's check out how he's. Going to co-host with me, Mr. Taichi. Welcome to the show. What's good, you right? Yeah. Are you feeling Namibia? I'm perfect. Namibia is perfect. It's nice and cool. Are you enjoying the view? I feel like flying right now. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> All right. So my guest on today's show, very, exi uh, very exciting, Mount Award-winning gospel artist, Namibian artist actually, by the name of Dinaf. He owns Dinaf Entertainment and has managed to raise a lot of other artists in Namibia so we'll be getting to talk to him as the show unfolds. Taito is one of them that has worked with Dinaf. Your experience man? Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. um, uh -huh. yeah, let's go. You asked me a question, let me talk. Yeah. So yeah, first speaking. time I linked up with Dinaf, I mean, everything was just perfect. One thing led to the other, we got to the studio and right now I regard Dinaf as a big brother, family, so yeah, it's all good. All right, we'll be talking about that and so many other things. But for now, let's kickstart the show with our first video. And our first video is coming through from uh, Raf Kaida alongside PJ. And this one is entitled Nkonto, throwing you back. Check it out. <laughs> 
from the Zambian Film Factory, we bring to you Kona with the Ima album, featuring hit songs like Akonkosha. <laughs> It's a shame. You are holy. 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 Plus, so many other hit songs. Grab your copy now. From the Zambian Film Factory, Findeco House, 15th floor, room 9, Oniko Shine and Kamwala. For more details, give us a call on plus 2609777774. people we're back that was in control by Rafkit one beat that I like produced by Taz Taz of Gil Me Record Production I yeah. think he really nailed that beat very talented person I'm mm -hmm. still you still owe me a bit Taz still wait for <laughs> Taz I hope you're listening this guy is claiming that you owe him I don't claim I speak the truth ah, okay. he owes me a bit okay we'll bring him on you want to owe me too we'll, we'll bring what, what do I owe you it's your show but I'll take you over no? yeah you can take over okay so <laughs> Ken One is out of the picture I'm here now mm -hmm. uh, what's the next subject <laughs> Oh, dinner. <laughs> you see, you can't survive without me on this show. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to our next video. Introducing my guest on today's show. And this is dinner with a video entitled, is it Tip Tip? Tippy Tippy. Tippy Tippy. We'll find out what that means after the video. Check it out.
I remember this song, Oshonana. I remember those days. I remember Nale. I feel but to village. Tuli tuli closer, and to na my na tuli lela happy. I to bukulo ma bo buku buku. I remember that life. Umbulange ya cheke. What you cheke? Why men no one bembe? Omanga mo chikowi. Alumenu yo pelondo. Hey, no poka fitu kachau. I onanga la wa wa. video that we are from playing and that video is coming through from Dinaf, uh, you know, the proprietor of Dinaf Entertainment, an award-winning gospel artist, Namibian gospel artist, a guy that is striving also to bring up a lot of other Namibian artists and just bring them to light. Guess what he is my guest on today's show? And yeah, this guy is just so tall, man. Uh, you, you make me look short. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank good you. Good to see you and good to have you in the land of the brave. Yes. Welcome thank you to for Namibia. bringing us to Namibia. Hendog embrace you here. Mm -hmm. It's like the gladiator arena. Wow. Yeah. All right. Great. Let's begin. I mentioned in my intro that you're a multi award winning artist. How many awards do you have? 11. 11? So that's just me alone. I didn't put my other artists. So okay. Alone, 11 awards. Okay, great. Take us back to dinner as an upcoming artist. How did the career begin? I was, uh, I was crazy. I was like some hard time back in the days, you know. The times were hard and the opportunities were very rare. We have to push our way through, asking people to help us here and there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy and it's, it's always going to be like that for any upcoming artist. You have to push your way through in the industry for you to be able to, to be known out there uh, until your name is finally out there and then things become easy. It was those days where you got to to a show and uh, you, you with your you know your single and you just want MC to give you the opportunity to just one song one song you know mm -hmm. uh, that's a difficult part we experienced back in the days but eventually we understood that it is part of the deal. Okay. Deal, yeah. 
Great. So you've been in the music now for how many years? About 20 Rock something years because I started in 1990. Wow. Yeah. All so right. I only went really pro after 1999 when we returned from the World Cup. That was the France versus Brazil. Okay. Yeah. The most striking thing for me really about you is, is, is your story of how you became a Christian, uh, you know, from the background before you were born again. Maybe, you know, just for the sake of the viewers, let's share your story. Uh, Enough before you became a gospel artist or before you became a born again Christian. Yeah, no, I'm from the just I'm just a normal African boy, just like everybody else. But because of you know poverty and hunger and the dream to be better, you want to eat good food and stuff like that. You see other children living better. We were enticed and also um, kind of like uh, provoked, or let me say, uh, you, we wanted to be like others, so we needed to do something to be like them. In this case we have to join gangs because it was more easy but dangerous so before dinner of course a lot of things happened in between there uh, most of my cousins were already in, the, in gangs so I, they were driving good cars uh, wearing beautiful clothes you know stuff like that and I saw what I thought I was I want to be like them and that's what I always tell people in life I say you must be careful what you wish for because you become exactly what you want what you wish for Eventually, I was the one carrying their guns, you know, go and bury them in the river bends. Then the more, tomorrow morning, bring them out, give it to them. They go into the day and do their operation. In the evening again, same story, over and over again. Eventually, I found myself qualified now to be an operation, an operational gangster. Meaning, you can now go into the community, armed, do whatever they were doing. And uh, eventually, things were smooth in the beginning. The money was there, the women were there, drugs was there, you know. Uh, but as yes, the scripture will have it, uh, it always seems, or it always seems so good or so well to a person. Mm -hmm. But at the end of that picture is death. People started dying one by one. Hospital, jail, funerals, or cemetery. Let me put it that way. Yeah. That's when my eyes were opened because I had a cousin of mine who was in the church before me. He would be talking to me from time to time and say, if you don't stop this lifestyle, one day we are going to put you in the casket. Thought about it, eventually, I followed him, his advice, and I went with him to church, and there I was, got born again, became a preacher, evangelist, a youth leader, and eventually dinner. Wow. Yeah. You know what? Every time, I've heard your story before, but every time I listen to this testimony, I think it just touches me up to a certain point. But having said that, how did you, didn't you get in trouble with the law as you were doing that? Did you manage to escape the law? What, what was the conviction for you to, you know, switch and just change completely to become a Christian? I was one of those uh, lucky ones that whenever the police showed up, we were, we were the first one to disappear. But the big brothers always got into trouble. They covered for us. I was never arrested. I don't have a criminal record. I'm clean. I don't have a criminal record. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. but uh, of course, uh, there are things we did that could have led to heaven for us having criminal records. But because of uh, street life, you know, you were always the first one to disappear or the last one to appear. Uh, we never detected. Eventually, in the gospel music or in the music industry, when it came to gospel, was the fact that when I went to church. Mm -hmm. My pastor was the one actually who pushed me into the industry. He's the one who said like, you know your background and the youth outside there, they are all into Kwaito and hip hop, you know, at that time Kwaito was booming, you know. South Africa was influencing Namibia too much. Mm -hmm. So they were like, if you can do gospel Kwaito, a lot of young people will come to church. Okay. So we tried it with a group called uh, Heaven's Dialect and then we graduated into uh, Ego's Mentality. Eventually it worked. Okay. People started coming to church, the youth came, and the church became one of the most spoken churches in the whole country. Okay, yeah. great. Alright, that's uh, a long story, but obviously mm -hmm. uh, simplified. Let's get back to your music. Um, you went into gospel music. I know that you are one of the gospel artists that works with guys from the secular, the secular world. world. And in our country, Zambia, it's a bit controversial. Well, let them come to Namibia. <laughs> and we'll, and we'll, and I know you've worked with Taitu, you've worked with uh, Taz. Taz. Yeah. yeah. A, a, a Taz lot of... is actually gospel, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it, it is gospel. Taitu, let's say Taitu. And Shaiman Shaizo. Shaiman Shaizo. Shaiman All right. Shaizo. Okay, so what defines a gospel artist? And is it wrong for a gospel artist to work with a secular artist? Uh, What's your reaction? Not, not in Namibia. Mm -hmm. I can only speak for my people. I okay. can only speak for Namibia. 
He's Namibia and I can also speak based on what the scripture says. Yes. Now, there's only one reason for us to fellowship with other people. Mm -hmm. so either they influence us or we influence them. In this case, I don't believe we can be influenced to become negative. Now, one thing people need to understand is this. The scripture makes everything very clear. It says, when Jesus ascended on high, he gave, he gave, gave gifts to men. Now, I have to repeat that. When Jesus ascended on high, he gave gifts to men. He didn't say, he gave gifts to Christians. He gave to men, everybody. And the gift is for a purpose. That we, we sing either to, the music is always, music is always to glorify the name of the Lord. Even though somehow we have taken the, taken in the music and start singing about women and sex and drugs. But the original purpose of music is always to worship God. Now, of course, when it comes to worship, we are limited. Because those who worship God can only do it in truth and in spirit. But when it comes to praise, anybody can praise God. And most of the guys that I worked with, have always worked with them, praising God. Thanking God for the, the fact that they are still alive. Mm -hmm. They are still here to see another day. And uh, they, are, they have a chance and opportunity to change their lives. Also, my argument is always here. We refuse to mingle with the secular artist. But my question is, is everybody in your house born again? If your uncle is not, if your auntie is not, your grandmother is not, you are having fellowship with darkness. So light and darkness is having fellowship in your house. Can, can you feature on, yeah. on, a secular, on a secular song? As long as they don't curse my God and they don't curse my grandmother. All right, great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still moving on. Remember, we're talking to Dinaf. He's my guest on today's show. And uh, just as we conclude, I know that you own Dinaf Entertainment, Dinaf Investment, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm more in interested in Dinaf Entertainment, where yeah. I know that the company was launched last year and I was here to witness the launch. Yeah. But here's what strikes me, your passion for music and trying to raise other gospel artists. Maybe just run us through the agenda of Dinaf Entertainment and what other artists they are trying to bring up to speak. Yeah, we are trying to build an empire. My team told me the other day, so let's build an empire. And this empire does not only include gospel music, it includes mm -hmm. inspirational songs. Songs that can inspire people, inspire life. The person who is about to kill himself can hear a song that says, you know you can become somebody. Mm -hmm. And then they just drop the idea of committing suicide. So the idea is that we want to build an empire, the most recognizable empire in Africa, if not the world. And there's a lot of people already that are coming on board. We have got Chinese people that are part of Dinaf Entertainment now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, are, we are grateful for the fact that this Buddhist Chinese have come on board soon or late before you know they are Christians. Okay. We, 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 are, we, are, we are trying to reach every aspect of lifestyle, from the drug dealers to the prostitutes, uh, from the Buddhist to the to the to the Shaolin, uh, you know, mm -hmm. stars, and then beginning, of course, in Namibia, which is our Jerusalem, okay. into Zambia, Tanzania, and then all centers or corners of the world. Okay, we are building this empire, and we are able to work with anybody who have got positive message. Whether he's in Zambia, they listening to us now, or Namibia or Nigeria. As long as your music is able to lift somebody up, that's what we call good news. Good news is what we call the gospel. Okay, and one other thing I know is that your artists are doing very well. Recently, you we launched uh, Dinah's album, Set mm -hmm. Apart. Which other artists are <clears throat> on this label and, uh, you know, what difference are they bringing? Yeah, in Namibia we have uh, Dinah, Lady Dinah. So we just launched the, the, the CD, like you said. We have a uh, Christmas award-winning artist right now. We, Celebrating him, mm -hmm. we have uh, myself now dinner, and then we have Steven Side is upcoming. Mm -hmm. uh, we are moving into Zambia now. We have got we have partnership. Feel that. Uh -huh. Then we have uh, Mark B3. Then we have Prince KD. Prince okay. KD is also with dinner entertainment now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking forward to work with a lot of people. I mean, it's just like by God's grace, we want to make this thing an empire. All right. For the sake of the kingdom. Thank you so much. Just before I let you go, I know we kicked off tight you. You'll be coming back. Is my co-host, by the way. Okay. The video that we played, uh, tip, 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 tip. what does it mean? Tipi Tipi says, I'm hearing footsteps that sounds like 
animals returning from the grazing area. Mm -hmm. And then it goes back and saying, what happened to the way we used to live? I remember those days when I could go to my neighbor and borrow sugar and I would not find myself in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Those were the old days. If I do it today, front page, do you know I've just borrowed salt <laughs> from his neighbor? So I'm saying, what happened to those old good days yeah. when I can go and just have a cup of coffee from my neighbor or sugar? Or in my village, when they slaughter a cow, mm -hmm. I can actually just get the soup and eat it with my pup made in my own house without them giving, but no, no story. Wow. Today is not the same thing anymore. Man. Things have changed. All right. Thank you so much, man, for coming to Anytime, the rooftop. Man. Keep doing the good works. You Keep promoting, uh, you know, Zambian music as well as Namibian music. At the end of the day, it's African music. That's the target that we're looking at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was talking to an award-winning Namibian gospel artist by the name of Dinaf. He's been my guest on today's show, and we're still moving on. Remember that Taitu is my co-host. I kicked him out because I really wanted to get the story of Dinaf. But right now, let's go to the next video. After all is said and done, we can then listen to the gospel. Here's Ephraim. Check it out. Hello everybody, that was a video from Ephraim. Now talking gospel, you know, somebody will ask a question as to why Tai Tu is talking about a gospel, track, gospel music. At the end of the day, there comes a point when you realize the creator out there and you know, 
having my background with the type of music I do, it's something that has been very easy for me to actually speak of, speak about and you know the moments when you're just sitting alone and you're thinking life in general, what exactly happened years ago, how did humanity exist, there's obviously uh, questions about science and all of those things but I don't take that. I, I call that nonsense at the end of the day. I believe there's a God out there. I'm not being controversial, relax. You know? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just enjoying the gospel. So right now, like, I don't like, want to like, be part of the show. When, I just want you, to listen when you, to you. When you touch me like that, it's like you're thinking, uh, okay, okay. No, I'm no, impressed. I'm, I'm inspired. Ladies and gentlemen, don't I'm be learning. surprised that if this guy becomes a gospel artist. Just saying. I, I don't know whether that will happen. But it's, <laughs> it's not even about getting surprised. Look, there's a creator out there. There's that voice that you listen to every day. That, that just, just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Ask a question. When you wake up in the morning, you think you're speaking to yourself, yeah? But then there's a voice that speaks to you. Exactly. Where do you think that comes from? From up above, from God. So, at the end of the day, you reason to say that just doesn't happen. It's just that you're praying. There's a creator out there, so... Yeah, Ty Tubi didn't go for music. <laughs> we were on uh, rooftop. <laughs> we're on rooftop and this is the Namibian edition, uh, Vinok City right now and we are standing on top of Vinok City. Moving on, on the show, let's get to play you another video and on the other side, we come and close the show. Hi, this is the Zambian Hume Factory. Celebrate Zambia, yes mother Zambia. We are the Zambian Film Factory. Zambian Film Factory. This is what we do, baby. Do we can now go over the gender violence? To push an idea, she die legacy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Translating ideas into real life production. You will not Great productivity, beautiful ideas, creative concepts. We are the Zambian Film Factory. <laughs> the Zambian Film Factory, the power to become. Zion, your time is now to shine. Hume Factory. Hume Factory, the power to become. Ka 
This is KB and this is Ray Doe. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Top notch. I, wait a minute. And this is 4-4. 4-4 is not here today. 4 is not here today, though. But we represent 4-4, right? We represent 4-4, right? too. <laughs> We used to be, are we still Desert Eagle? Desert Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. No way, we got to yeah. say it together. Okay, one, okay. Two, two, three. three. De- and we are Desert Eagle. Come on. We, one, two, two three. three. And we, we are, are Desert, Desert Eagle. Eagle. And you are watching Rooftop. Rooftop. With Ken One. Let's do that again. And you are watching Watching Rooftop rooftop with with Kenny One. Unfortunately, Taitu, we have to go. It's been an exciting show. Uh, Thank you to our guest, Dina, you know, for gracing this show. And remember that this has been the Namibian edition of the Rooftop, and we're in Vindok City right now, standing on top of Vindok. This is an international edition, and I hope that you will pick one or two things from what my guest said. I learned something when I'm here. Dina is. I think for me it's just full of wisdom. There's one thing I'm going back home with. Mm. Dinaf is full of wisdom for me. Every time I come here, I learn something. And this is a statement that I've kept. Do not write off any person. Did you hear that? Loud and clear. Yeah. See, every time I've had a conversation with her, you know, I'll have my opinion on certain things of which sometimes I'll keep quiet and say, okay, let me listen to what you have to say. So, you know, you pick out a lot of things and look at even just the Bible, for example. Mm-hmm. You read one one verse, have your own understanding, then you get his own opinion on it. Yeah, his understanding. You say, "Wow, I didn't really think." So he's a person who I think has a lot of ideas, mm-hmm. has a lot of knowledge when it comes to you know the Bible, just life in general. His experiences. Some of us haven't been. I mean, we haven't really been to half of what he's been through. Exactly. You know? So and yeah, you learn. Yeah. All right, we have to go, and uh, you know, Namibia has been good. Thank you so much. Zambia, Namibia, this has been the rooftop. Uh, I'd rather you end the show for me. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, I think I'm gonna take over the show. So this <laughs> so is let me, the rooftop. Can I walk out? Let me let, let um, me walk out as you as you close. No, 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 no. No, let me walk out. The correct way will be uh-huh. to have you stand here uh-huh. and say, "Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my show from today. Mm-hmm. It's the rooftop with Taitu, Ken One, History, Taitu, Present." Okay, now close. I've had fun, hope you had fun and learned a few things. Just want to give a huge shout out to Draco Media in Namibia and Film Factory, Nyamesha Square. I know it's M2, Nyamesha, Nyamesha, but Nyamesha Square. And yeah, I think I'll take you back to the beginning. We're going to close the show with my beginning, my smile video. Enjoy.
Oh, well, now show me how you do Gololo. Gololo, I. Gololo, ta. Gololo, si. Gololo, Gololo. Eh. Oh, Zambia, how you do Gololo. Gololo, I. Gololo, ta. Gololo, si. Gololo, Gololo. Eh. And this is how I do. Yo, what I become a platinum diamond, chibudi, chibudi, all the way from Bongoland. And I'm on the rooftop with my boy, Ken Wan. Don't go nowhere, darling. Just stay there. Platinum say so. How? Baby, you're so good, you're so good. 